What you guys got another video here for you. Stop using customization apps on Windows 11 24H2. This is what Microsoft want you to do. They don't want you to be installing any apps of that nature on Windows 11 24H2. Whether it be the enterprise versions or home versions or pro versions, they are not going to want you to download and install them. We already know that Explorer Patcher has caused major problems with Windows 11 24H2 and if you try to download it and install it you're going to have problems. Now on the new Windows 11 24H2 if you try to download files like this you're going to get virus detected and this is because it's a .exe file. That means when you try to download this file on inside your browser it's going to block it and it's not going to allow you to download it. You used to be able to get the free dots and say I want to continue, I want to download, keep it anyway but they're not giving you that option anymore. They're just completely blocking it. Now, other programs like the Windows Repair uh, Toolkit, here's another example for you. As soon as you download it, up the top, it lets you download the actual file. You, when you extract the file, straight away, you right-click, extract all, and then you're going to end up with an issue. So straight away, you're going to get something like this, which is now going to delete all the files inside there and stop you from using it. This is a typical Windows security feature that they are now starting to push out in Windows 11 24H2. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to be able to run these. And Windows has blocked the access to this file. So you're not only getting stopped at the browser level, you're now getting stopped at the Windows desktop level, and it's literally deleting these files before you can run them. Now, this is a good and bad thing, and I'll explain that a little bit later on. So if you do like using things like Tiny11 Builder, where you can build your own versions of Windows, these are also going to be blocked, and you're not going to be able to run them on Windows 11 24H2, uh, this day going forward and this is because Microsoft don't want you to uh, use files like these that could be high risk even the Windows 11 fixer tools these ones are like uh, debloating tools that you can download from github and basically when you extract these you're going to end up with the same problem you'll get the files being deleted and blocked by the Windows security feature so you can see here, Windows found this file to be potentially harmful. To help protect your computer, Windows has blocked access to this file. And it's basically going to delete it off the computer. And this is to protect you, the user. So a lot of people complain about stuff like this. And people also need to remember that Windows used to be very easy to infect. But when Microsoft tighten up their security and stop you downloading potentially uh, dodgy files and protecting your system and stopping you getting infected, then people go on a rampage and start shouting at Microsoft. So they are trying to protect you in the long run uh, by blocking a lot of this stuff. But unfortunately, there's a lot of people that do like to tweak and do like to tinker with Windows. But Microsoft are trying to uh, you know, make Windows more secure and keep your system protected from potentially unwanted files that you can download, like this particular file. It's been blocked, and the reason why it's blocked is because it's altering uh, the Windows 11 operating system by you know, tweaking it and removing components, and Microsoft don't want you doing that because no one knows what's inside that code because some of it is locked down. So it will block it start all back for some reason microsoft is still blocking this file and you can see virus detected up the top here and it's not going to allow you to install it now obviously the browser is blocking this because obviously it's a dot executable file and this remember is how malware gets onto the computer or viruses get onto the computer you'll download a file directly off the internet click on it and you're infected so microsoft are now blocking a lot of this stuff although it's blocking a lot of stuff that is not a virus. And unfortunately, this is just the way that this blocking system works. So they're being a bit aggressive with this approach. Now, of course, that means it's blocking Start All Back, uh, 7-Zip, and other programs like that that are executable files that you're downloading directly off their website. Even tools like this one that's been around for a long time are now being blocked. And this could be a, 
a packed file, you know, like a portable file, or it can be an all-in-one sort of setup file. It doesn't like that particular type of file, and it will block it. It doesn't necessarily mean that this is a file that contains viruses. It just might mean that Microsoft are now blocking it because they're trying to protect you, the user. And with billions of computers out there running Windows, uh, people downloading stuff all the time. There's lots of malware that gets spread around and shared on the internet, and you've got to be super careful. The downfall is they're even blocking programs that are supposed to be removing viruses like this one. And this is because it's a dot executable file. This could be to do with the browser itself that's blocking this. And uh, this is a Hitman Pro, which is made by Sophos or owned by Sophos. And of course, that is a trusted program that you use to remove malware and other stuff. Now, someone obviously forgot to send the memo to their own department. This is uh, Microsoft's own application, uh, Process Explorer. And when you extract it, guess what's going to happen? It's going to block it. And there you go. Windows found this file to be potentially harmful. They're finding their own programs harmful. So it's quite an aggressive approach by Microsoft. Unfortunately, not all these programs are harmful. And it's just the nature of the program where it needs access to uh, certain files on the system, i.e. Windows files. A lot of these programs are going to need access to the Windows directory and this is a big no-no. And unfortunately, a lot of these programs require access to that location to be able to make tweaks to the system or even monitor the system, i.e. their own programs. And there is going to be loads of applications that are just like this that are going to need access to that location to be able to run properly and monitor the system or even remove malware or even uh, you know tweak the system. So programs like this look like they are now being blocked. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean they will never run on Windows 11 24H2 in the future. It just means you need to jump for a few hoops to get them to work on your system. And that's going to take an advanced user to be able to get that to work properly. Now, believe it or not, I do believe this is a good step forward at blocking a lot of this sort of stuff from being downloaded. Now, put yourself into the shoes of someone who's not quite skilled and they are just downloading stuff off the internet, it's going to block a lot of this stuff and stop them from getting infected. Now, malware in this, in this sense will be also blocked in this manner, and it means it's going to be more secure, and you're going to get less chance of being infected on that version of Windows. And people for many years have been asking for a more secure version of Windows, and you are now finally getting it with Windows 11 24H2. Unfortunately, a lot of the applications that people like to use are now going to be blocked and you're going to have to probably jump through a few hoops to get them to work on that system if you want them to run on that version of Windows. A lot of this stuff has been blocked by Microsoft and there's loads more other applications I could go through and show you and they are blocked also. And this is Microsoft's way of protecting you, the user, from obviously downloading potentially uh, dodgy uh, programs that could have backdoors in them. They could have viruses in them. Now, of course, that means having a strict approach to what you're downloading. And unfortunately, that means blocking just about everything that you see here that has a .exe on the end of it, or it's files that are trying to gain access to the Windows directory. So it's good and bad. Now, obviously, there's a lot of people asking a lot of questions about Windows 11 LTSC. And we're still waiting for Microsoft to release a lot of this information. But if, for people that are saying, can you just buy a key and use this? No, you can't. It's an enterprise version. It's not going to be able to purchase a key like that. Uh, also, another thing that people ask, is it going to be compatible with older systems? Uh, Windows 11 24H2 is still going to have a strict hardware requirements for that particular version of Windows. And as you can see here on Microsoft's own website, there is tons of people complaining about Windows 11 and about some of the uh, things that are happening with Windows 11. And this is a big, big thing uh, for a lot of uh, Windows users. You've got people here even asking to bring back Windows 7. I mean, come on, be realistic. That's never going to happen. So you're just wasting your time and energy posting something like that. But there is a lot of uh, complaints there about 
Windows 11, about their start menu and about other changes that are happening with Windows 11. Some people are saying just, you know, fix Windows 11 before you release another operating system. And there's all sorts of complaints going on on their website. And it's right across the board. Uh, you know, there's one here, Windows 11 is a mess and there's a bunch of complaints there, what he's explaining. And this is the problem. Uh, people just want a stable operating system and they keep tweaking it and keep adding stuff in and it breaks it and you end up with a lot of bugs. And this is a major problem for Windows at the moment. I just think they need to get a stable version of Windows and stick with it for a while and let people enjoy it for a while before you start forcing feature updates onto people with features that people are not interested in or they don't want. Uh, people just want a stable OS at the end of the day and they don't want stuff uh, added onto their system where they can't turn things off and they're forced to use it. You know, get rid of the adverts and all of the telemetry stuff and I think people will be a lot more happier. Also, as a side note, that if you're looking for upgrading to Windows 11 24H2, if you've got any of this stuff installed on your system, it's not going to allow you to upgrade to that version of Windows either because Microsoft are blocking it. There's billions of people using Windows on their computer. It's very hard to please everyone, and Microsoft probably know this. Uh, unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of people that are not happy with these being blocked when you're downloading them, people that want to use them, but you have to think of the bigger picture. There's a lot more people that don't understand what these apps are, and they could be downloading stuff and infecting their computer. So it's a security measure at the end of the day, and it's blocking a lot of this stuff to keep people safe. And uh, we either want a tighter Windows security, or we just want it open where people can download whatever they like and end up getting infected and causing problems like there was back in Windows XP and Windows 7. Anyway, let me know all your thoughts in the comments section. I'd be happy to read your comments. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.